So, welcome to Valdetta, the capital of Malta. Beautiful streets, empty. Luckily I found good free parking with a nice view. Valletta is a truly magnificent city with beautiful architecture and of course it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is also the capital of Malta and located in the southeastern region of the so island. So these are the Baraka Gans. Eyes glow like two fires, movement so graceful While cat in the jungle with dangerous claws Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey Like stars in the darkest night, crystallized fascinating The historical town of Valletta is rather small, but it has a lot to offer. So I walked around these gardens, enjoyed the view, and yes, it was really cool. I guess it's a local language, and I have no idea what it means. I was very lucky to walk by the St. John's Cathedral while they were having a mass. Because they usually charge more than 10 euro entrance fee. But when they have a mass, you can see the church for free. But you are actually not allowed to take photos. Nightlife still seems quite vibrant here in Valletta, despite the COVID surges, which is uh, yeah one of the highest in history right now. So even clubbing is open, you know. Uh, people from Couchsurfing invited me to go clubbing with them. I don't think that's a good idea at the moment. So these are the lower Baraka Gardens. It's getting already dark. And the fountain is not working. Both Baraka Gardens, the lower and the upper Baraka Gardens, are both the best points of view in the city. And another church I came across. I'm not going there for praying, I just go there for sightseeing. I'm not religious at all, in case you ask. But I do find religious rituals quite interesting. Religions have shaped our culture for centuries, for millennia. Therefore it is very important what influence it had on our society. So here we have a free art gallery. The name of this art gallery is Spazio Creativ. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, I think it's in Maltese. But it was very interesting and of course I appreciate that it was free of entrance. The art gallery is located very close to the Baraka Gardens, to the upper ones, and uh, it has two floors and even a cinema, although the cinema is not free. I think it's the only free museum in Valletta. Uh, they also have a fine arts museum, but that one is not free. Oh, it doesn't work. There. Now it works.
So, back in Valletta at daytime, here you can see how beautiful it really is. And right now we're here at this bell tower, which is a second world war memorial next to the lower Baraka gardens, which are just here. The seas of Malta, the bell rings for all the people who have fallen in the war for the country. So here the bar, lower Baraka gardens at data. So the church is 15 euro actually, but you can go for free if there's a mass. And then you're not allowed to take photos. So this is the Maltese flag. The last view on Valletta before we go to the airport. So that's already it for Malta. One week was just enough to explore the main island, but it has so much more to offer, like this other island Gozo and the Blue Lagoon, which we haven't seen, so we definitely want to come back. I found it very interesting that they painted the benches near the water with country flags. So you can see here, for example, Ireland, what is it, Italy, Russia, Germany, and so on. Really cool. So an iced tea for the last night in our wonderful hotel. I'm stuck in my head, going on another feeling. I love the way you move, it's so Test again. <laughs> and then when we came back to Germany we had to do the corona tests. These things are so uncomfortable if the guy goes so deep in your mouth and in your nose that oh I hate those. But we were negative, luckily. <laughs> 